Hello guys, do you install WordPress? Do you want to, do you want to run a music website? Are you planning to um, start posting some to get traffic to your website? Do you want users to know about your blog when they download some from your website? Hello dear, you have all the information you need in this video because this video is going to show you from A to Z guidelines how to set up MP3 tagger on your website from cPanel. So how do I mean it? You, you see many people that whenever you download, for example, a site like nigerloaded.com.ng, site like um, Just Niger, a site like Niger Flavor, and there are about um, many of them out there. So you want to um, start posting like them, you want to start creating music content like them, then you don't know how to, um, when somebody downloads from your website, to like to carry image cover that those sites I mentioned used to carry. So now, I will be teaching you how to easily set up that MP3 tagger on your website from your cPanel. And I'm going to give you a free link that you're going to download MP3 tagger from your website. You don't need to, um, uh, you don't need to, pay for any of that when I'm going to drop a link in this uh, video description where you are going to get um, download the um, mp3 tagger plugin then you upload it to your website I would I say is a script so it's not um, something that you just upload it. you don't need to upload it to your main website all you have to do is upload it to your cPanel so without much ado let's dive in and show you how to um, set up mp3 tagger for your website just by doing some simple steps so it is not um, if you already know how to um, navigate on your system um, um, do many other stuff then this is not going to take you much of your time to do so guys let's get it right away start um, showing you how to um, do that at your comfort zone also um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to um, subscribe, comment, share to your friends, and you'll be able to get um, um, new videos whenever I upload them to my YouTube channel. So, let's get it right away. Okay guys, we are looking to set up mp3 tagger on our music blog. So this is what I'm saying about um, the tagger will allow you to um, copy song from other music blog and then you change the link to your own link and also to a banner to your own website banner. For example, this is what I'm talking about. Um, this is what I'm talking about. So this helps you when a user downloads song from your site it will show exactly the banner that your site represents for example this is my own website so whenever you download from my site it's going to represent this from a music player of such user um, device so for instance now i want to download some from a so website like uh, uh this is the type of site i'm talking about okay let me use this site for example so if i come to this site now i want to download song from this site and or maybe i'm a music blogger i don't want um this site banner to show on on my own on my own website whenever i publish music uh posts so i'm i'm trying to make use of a download button from this site download mp3 so but I want it to be showing my own site banner something like this i want it to be showing my own site banner something like this so how to uh, set up mp3 tagger on my um on my cpanel uh, where my site is located so now let's get started and i will show you how to uh, set up mp3 tagger to your website so but before then let's show you another thing you need to know if you want to start a music blog and you don't have much capital to start this is a uh, speedyhost247.com it helps you to um, um get 3500 naira monthly uh, payments for hosting 
So you'll be able to um post your website on your on their platform for as low as three thousand five hundred naira per month. So they give you unlimited um unlimited bandwidth and unlimited subdomains there about for just as low as three thousand five hundred naira. So that's about um that's about ten to fifteen dollar in foreign currencies. So now I'm going to um go to my C panel. So I'm going to go to my C panel. So I'll be going to a place called Fine Manager. So I'm going to a place called Fine Manager. Once I click on it, it will open. Then I'll go to public HTML. So what all I have to do is click on upload here. This is what I'm going to click on. So when I click on it, it will give me access to upload a file to my C panel. So when I click on it, I will now go to my um where my file is located. A document this is mp3 load this is mp3 tag i'm going to upload it to my c panel so once i upload it it's going to download to my c panel so i'll head back to my um file manager public uh, html so i'm going to unzip the file i'm going to extract the file so once i extract it so i'm going to extract it to a public html I have done the extra extraction so i'm going to delete the zip file because it's no longer need, uh, needed so I'll, I'll now open this i will now open it then all i have to do is first of all change the name of this after for um edit it rename the name then i'll copy the name here then i will delete it i don't need to do much stuff then i'm going to upload my own music cover banner so i'm going to click on upload i'll click on select file i'll go to where my banner is located this is my banner so this is my banner i'll click on it i'll click on open so i have downloaded it to my c panel then i'll have to rename it to what I copied before so you have seen that I rename it to that the other previous um, image there so I'm going to edit the index I'm going to make use of my index so I'm going to copy my site URL I'm going to edit it in a way that is going to um look good in eye So I'm going to change this here like this. I'm going to change the uh, previous um name that associated with that MP3 tagger. So I'm going to edit it.
so once i'm done editing this i'll have to i'll have to click on save so i'm about to um edit to my own website name so my edition is there my editing is done so i have saved it i'll now head back to my own website cpanel uh, my own wordpress website so all i have to do is go to a particular post then i'll click on hello world then i'll just add media so i will add media i will select this I'll head back to my site. I will edit this name. And I will replace it on the title of such um, stuff. So now, I have this associated to my site. I have to test whether it is working or not. And be able to set up um, MP3 tagger on your website is as simple as a b c d so if you need any other questioning or any other stuff then you can let me know then this is how to check if um it is working or not So you can see guys that I have done the setup and it is working very fine. Welcome to mulaclick.com music upload panel. So this is how to set up mp3 tagger to your music blog. If you are such a person that is looking for you to set up mp3 tagger to your website.